This video summarises the main facts you need to know for inequalities. And there are four initial examples. Now, the first one means that x can be anything larger than and including 4. That second line there includes the 4. So if you imagine a number line, and if I put the number 4 here, then x can be anything bigger than and including the number 4. So I can put a circle above the 4. I can include 4. So I shade the circle in and then draw a line to the right. So it could be 4, 4.1, 4.2, it could be 5, it could be 6, and so on and so forth. So that number line represents the options which x could be. Now the second one is now x still bigger than a certain number, which is minus 3, but we can no longer include minus 3. So x is any number which is strictly bigger than minus 3. So if I draw another number line and put minus 3 on there, because we can no longer include minus 3, I use an open circle. But I'm still larger than, so I go to the right. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, any number larger than but not including. The third one is now y is less than but including 2. So on a number line I can put 2 on. I can include 2 so I colour the circle in but now I'm less than 2 so I go to the left. So any number whatsoever less than 2. Don't forget that also includes decimals and negatives. So 4, we're still less than, but we're now less than, but not including minus 4. So on my number line, I could put a minus 4, doesn't matter where. I don't include minus 4, so I use the open circle. I'm less than, so I go to the left, and I'll just put some numbers on to indicate what's going on. So Q can be any number less than, but not including minus 4. So they're the four main examples. Bigger thans, less thans, with the two strict inequalities where we don't include the actual numbers themselves. Now we can also have double inequalities where a certain unknown value is bounded by two other values. So Q is between 2 and 5, but we cannot include 2, but we can include 5. So if I draw a number line and put 2 here and 5 here, then Q is anywhere in between there. But we don't include 2, so we use an open circle. We can include 5, so we close it. And then we put a straight line across to join the two circles, and there we go. Now in some exam questions we're asked to list integers or whole numbers which satisfy a given inequality. So 2x lies between minus 5 and 3. Now what we can do here is we can divide by 2 to get x rather than 2x. So if I divide all three parts by 2 I get minus 2.5 less than or equal to x less than 1.5. Now to visualise this, I'll draw a number line. Minus 2.5, 1.5, it's only a sketch, and x, we can include minus 2.5, but we cannot include 1.5. So x is somewhere between here. However, x must be an integer or a whole number. So the question is saying, which whole numbers lie in this little region here. Well, minus 2.5, the first integer will be minus 2, then minus 1, then 0, and then 1. So these here are our whole numbers. So x can be minus 2, minus 1, 0, or 1. So again, we're looking for the whole numbers 
which satisfy the given range of values.